So I know um, one thing I wanted to play with today. I know you're, you're, you had a uh, theme today. What was your theme? Yes, today? you're a good queen. Princess it's a big queen the or princess for the day. Yeah, princess Go for the day. Princess. So I was going to have a little anti-princess fun here. All because right. When I think of princess, I think of somebody who's entitled, who's not willing to do the work. And maybe that's just my age group. And <laughs> I, I grew up more of a tomboy, not afraid to roll up my sleeves even today. Uh, so I would like to say we all love to be pampered sometimes and taken yes. care of and felt special. So from that point of view, it's great to be a princess. But when it comes to investing, I don't want people to be a princess. I want to be the princess with a portfolio. Mm. I don't want to be waiting for a prince, right, to come save me, because nope, that's what that's you think right. of. And I would argue that men appreciate that too. They don't want to be solely responsible for saving the women financially in their life. They want an equal partner. So Or a sugar mama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> you guys are gonna. Nobody's saying anything. We're leaving it. Anyway, aren't we? yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of Wendy's comments. We all go. Let's just let's just sidestep over here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where she gets it from. <laughs> no, so I, I guess I, that's all I'd like to say is you know be be the princess with the portfolio when it comes to your finances. Make sure that you're uh, you know saving yourself. And, and building for your financial future as well as your significant other. I love that. I, I love that, you know, yep. um, I, and I love why you're doing the wise women is to show other women that, you know, you can do this. I, I've said for, for many years, real estate has no glass ceiling. There's, there's nothing keeping us down. There's no reason why a female can't do everything that a male is doing in this business. Um, 100%. In fact, I think we have the upper hand um, in many cases. <laughs> and I've, I've seen it used over and over again. And I, I, um, uh, I'm always so encouraged when I see, um, especially single women, um, you know, jump out there and, just, you know, take the bull by the horns and not be afraid. We all have fear. That's what people need to understand. I don't care if you're a male or a female. We all have fear in stepping into this business, taking a chance. You know, those yep. zeros can get pretty scary, um, but you have to do it. And 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 I, it's so encouraging to see what you're doing because other women can look around and go, hey, you know, if they're doing this, I can do this too. Yeah, yeah. you know, and I think, you know, my my opinion it comes from you know just a father of three girls and everything like it's typically a little more afraid to fail because it feels like it's harder for women to get back up once they do fail so it can be scary in that that thing but what do you mean harder for us to get back up jonathan I, well no not not you personally it's like the like the society is built where it is much harder for a woman to rise up after failing than a man is. Yeah, that's you know? a good point. So that's good. Point. So I think that can be a scary part. And, you know, but you hit the nail on the head. I mean, you just got to get out there and do it. And um, I know, you know, a lot of, a lot of women in real estate, like, you know, Tracy and uh, our friend, Heather, follow them, take advice from them. Mm -hmm. it's very smart people, wise men, listen to wise women. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to thank you.